mental or moral qualities that are distinctive in an individual. That is what we call character. Many times it is to be known that character has been confused with many things like uh, success in life, owning material things, so that if then you finish your degree, they what I am saying, you have a character, a degree. I am not a character, because now you have a degree, and probably some of us who come from the from the frontiers where it took a while for education to find our local. We you will be the only one or second to have a degree. So there's a possibility. Doctor, you know what to talk about and other design of what you have it. But the Lord is saying maybe by then you think I have anyway. Be confused with success, with material gain. But it is good to know that it is character that actually manages success and our material gain, including the giftings of the Spirit of God. It is character that maintains them. But I have to go let, let me say something else. The other thing is that uh, you are now here in the university, and these days they come here when they are a little bit younger. Because in our years we used to stay home for two years. I don't know what government was thinking those days. But what kind of money can be made? You come here, then the doctor here has a lecture for two hours. Years away. And I'm to finish two hours. And hey, the lady, I'm going to go but here we are. So, um, so every time you notice, I'll give you a short story, that, which is called a life story. I, I don't know, depending on the culture where you come from, and probably ladies may identify with something I will start saying here, that in every community, when a child is born, what is the first question they ask? What? Please come on, talk to me. Is he a boy or a girl? Ah, there's a lady who got it. Is he a boy or a girl? Correct! The first question is, is he a boy or a girl? I don't know what you when you are born. <laughs> if you didn't know, they ask that question. When a child is born, whether home or in the hospital, when you become the first informant, like the ladies, the women who went to the tomb and they found Jesus and resurrected. So if they ask, is it a boy or a girl? Then, after we have become a town of Sita, now that we are doing a, you know, exclusive breastfeeding, thanks to Villa to Majua Vito Wenge, when you know to be able to to be able to be able to Sita. I think what I do is to, I knew when I also got married and I had children. So I would attend those, uh, I did prenatal, actually, I did prenatal, I did prenatal with my wife, and the Lord gave me favor. In fact, my children were born when I was there. Giving birth, my friend, is not a job. <laughs> and uh, I am not here to bore you with my stories, but what I do is, Mama, I will over the same day. How long? How long? I am here if at that particular time it was a chung. And when you reach him, sisters got uh, was idea to serve. These days there's a lot of uh, medicine, local anesthesia, and other nonsense names, but uh, hey, Mungu <laughs> Then uh, after six months, people are careful to ask, come on to the answer, Kukula Chakula Ingine, Akikunwa, come on to the breast feet. So when I was when I was mama, when you know, there's a lack, there's baby or porridge, there's a kunai ingi ni likuwa powder ni to anan, ni na sijua, na kunanan ni likuwa ngai kona kala brownish for those who are lacto sensitive. Don't worry, you will not go stick on it. You don't have to grab what I'm just saying. You will not. They are keen to ask, come and answer for me. Is the person saying a few words? Are you with me? To me, I don't want to lose you, right? So the other thing that uh, they will ask will be after three years, a couple of people like a baby daycare, four years, come and answer 
Sikuizi kuna mapipi mingi. Before NASA there is a P and a P and another P or something. I don't know. I don't know. My children are small. I am not sure whether my son has a PP2 or another son. Next time I should come with my wife. She will be so good with those things. Eh? And I know my son is in grade 2. He should have been in grade 3. He was not for this, uh, for this thing that uh, depends on what Chinese eat during December. <laughs> right? So, so, um, so when the child is, uh, those years I'm talking about, akifika, akifika miaka kidogo, amekaribia teenagehood, aka class 8, although that the system is changing, wanaata kuliza mutoto anafanya hadi shule. Yo wanaata kujua anenda national school, or kwenye uh, wengine tulisomea. But it's the idea. Does it matter?
was born in a place called uh, Pandan Ara. It is in the Bible. Please trust me on this. Pandan Ara is the Walizaliwa. Right? Now you believe my uncle was a chunga ngombe, and Walizaliwa was an uncle of his uncle, and he That time, you know, Jacob was becoming uneasy, and he really needed to leave his father-in-law and go and reconcile with a twin brother that after he was a child, he was a child. To the other one, he was just a victim of circumstance. And so at six years of age, they traveled now with his family to Kana, and they were going to meet their cousins and their uncle, the only uncle they had called Isu, that the father had to negotiate with. They were one of them, one of them. Then now when we come to Genesis chapter 37, and I hope you guys will go read it, we now find the story of Joseph being highlighted. Years of age, right? He's a teenager. He is either in form Korea. Three. Three. Thank you. You are from three. So I get approximately age. Right. And then he at 17 years he is sold as a slave. Two? Well, I know we say he was sold to Egypt, it is true, but he was sold to the Ishmaelites. You know, my Bible scholar, I'm sorry, I'm so keen with the detail, I'm a scientist. He was sold to his cousin, the Ishmaelites, but the Ishmaelites had no job for him. They dumped him in Egypt and they, they, they sold him there for 30 coins. And the Bible scholars kind of a way say that he represents the Jesus in the New Testament that is sold by a Judas. It is in your Bible that you are sold for 30 coins. Now, he's a teenager, he's sold as a slave, and time passes. He is in prison, we all know. At the age of 28, he interprets dreams of his fellow inmates in the prison. Okay, one was a baker, the other one was a what? Cup bear. These guys were high ranking people who were serving at King Pharaoh. And at 30 years, he interprets the dreams of Pharaoh. The Bible says it is after two years that God had to make this guy to have a sleep and a dream that nobody could interpret until that was uh, uh, Joseph. He is supposed to be a pastoralist. His main occupation is he should have been a pastoralist and looking at flock and all that kind of a thing. 30, when seven years passed, so when he's 37 years, he has been a manager and a prime minister and seven years of plenty is Asia. And the farming has come. You know, Miyake in a song. Just the same way his character is not, he's not stopping somewhere to build his character. But he has a way of life ahead of him. And I know he didn't have the luxury of the, the, that we have today that we can project where we want to be. If I ask you some of you, I, I, I met some young people who have a strategic plan of where they want to be. I knew about the word strategic when I was already employed. I don't even know what it was. Strategic plan, I'm told, is this forecasting in terms of, uh, that guy, be fair to me. <laughs> How many years you want to be? I'm told there are people who do that, isn't it? Yeah. Like, let's say the Emirates. Mm -hmm. Emirates. Yeah. Emirates. Yeah. Yes. Now you can yeah. I can't remember the name we used ourselves those days. But it's a good name. So the Emirates now, you you guys are between which ages? Twenty-five? Twenty-four. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. If you guys come here when you were seventeen. Twenty-two. Wow. And every time I come here for street, we can't click two and super seven in relationship at twenty-two. <laughs> And the main preoccupation is this young lady, and she's beautiful. Because according to Barack Obama, beauty is up to 25. We only have those to bring on the table. <laughs> beautiful regardless of what brothers say about you. It is true. And so the preoccupation of that lady is she's 23 in for the year, and she has been so hot that she thinks men in what were buyer and in the 23. 
So now you guys are 23, 24, right? Yes. Ah. So, hey. <laughs> so at 39, two years when the famine starts. Are you with me about the life yes. of Joseph? Yes. Because, can you someone in Aisha? About the school, the school, I come and go down from there. At 39, yeah. Are we together? Lanina is when we have drought that is so bad. And so the brothers have to come to Egypt because what has gone throughout the world one, and in that time civilization center was in Egypt. Right? I don't know why we lost it. University like University of Alexandria, it was the first university in the world. The University of Alexandria in Egypt, Cairo. Mm -hmm. It was the first and what well, of initial philosophy, religion, and farming. Right? Never have a nonsense came from. Africa we were the chief dog. Yes, please. Muta se kwambia ni Africa tu kwa nyuma. Na fikiri tu le rudi nyuma sijui. So, so 39 years the brothers come to Egypt looking for grain. Okay, looking for food. Ki walikuwa na ngombe, lakini hawakuwa na grain. And I think also mbona lazima pia zikuwa zinakufa and they are coming to get food. And a few, is it two or one year after the whole family now migrates to Egypt? And the father Jacob stayed for a while because when Jacob dies at the age of 140, what? Jacob was like, what is it? Is it 137 or 147? I don't know. I think that time Joseph was 56. Right? Mm -hmm. And at 56, the father dies. He lived to be 110 years, Joseph. So that is the life. The question we must ask ourselves today, that kind of life that Joseph lived, right? how was his character shaped? There was no point that he had to pause and build his character. It is the same way, there's no time you're going to stop somewhere and build your character. There's no going to be a time, even in into our half time, like in football, whether you go and you're sitting somewhere in a corner and you're trying to mold your character. Character is your day in, day out thing. And if you're not conscious of it, you miss out. You to be more prayerful. You will most likely fail. Because you need to develop it while here. Right? Out there, there are so many noises. We rarely get to quiet places. You have the bush. And it has nostalgic and sentimental value to some of us. We really love the bush. In fact, there's a group that was here that Ilichoma. But I want to highlight three. Because you see, in a normal classroom, if you teach, and I know lecturers who don't know this, the concentration span of a human being in Yanka is 40 to 15 uh, minutes. So when you guys teach us for two hours. <laughs> But, 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 but how to get them concentrated is to bring issues that are not on the topic, then they come back. Like now they have come back. Do you have, do you have exams this coming week? Cut. A cut is an exam. Alright. So, when I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, So, I'm going to say, I'm going to Please come back. Don't worry. And in the afternoon, come for the AGM. Now, there are three things that uh, I want to highlight. And they, they, I don't know for interest in some, they start with a P. Oh, my name is Paul. So, preservation and palliative. We'll talk about them and we shall be done. One of the key things that we notice with the life of Joseph is that if there's a guy who persevered, it was Joseph. This guy was just 17 years looking at cattle with his uh, brothers and he had to come and tell the father when the brothers were doing some naughty things. This every parent desires to have a son or a child like Joseph. 
Because you are not with your children all the time. You want the one who will tell you, wakati wale wengine wanaenda kongo, ndiyo, wanyoroshe. I am aware in your generation, muna hitwa kamamana kamama, you are not kenned. Ata kumaka tukwa na tumu, muna kuleta yu kijiti ndo uchapwa na yu. One of the crime was kuleta yu utachapwa mbili na ikatike. That was one of the crimes. Inaongeza makosa. So you need to look for a nice stick that the parent will be done with you without the stick breaking. And I can tell you, because and it is biblical, it is biblical that it is good to discipline. You know, discipline now takes many forms, alright? A child in the way it should go. Because if you deny them the wrong, the Bible says you hate them, right? That is true. And so, this is a man who really persevered. He never even told God to give him dreams. I think he should actually walk to share. He was this guy that would call people and tell them, Hey, I had a dream. Actually, let us read. He was called as apologetics with them. He was called as apologetics with them. He was called as apologetics with them. So, 37. Genesis 37. This is what he said. Verse 5. Joseph had a dream, and when he told this to his brothers, they hated him more than more. Previously, they hated him because he told him of them. Now, the dreams, he told him that he told him that he told him and then he said to them, listen, read from NIV, listen to this dream I had. We had, you know, while the farm binding sheep, you know, they were harvesting wheat, or whatever that was, eh? And how can you tell your brothers that you have a dream that is showing that your sheep is becoming taller than them? This time, he was the last one or second last one. Mm -hmm. Alright? When he is 17, Benjamin Ashaz and Lewa. The other thing you need to note is that he also is without a mother. Their mother, Rachel, died giving birth to Benjamin. To know you? Yes. Actually, the Benjamin was called Ben Oni. Son of my soul, but the father refused to commit a Benjamin. What does Benjamin mean? It is okay. No worry. We, we, we will tell them in the second service. So, now he has a brother, but he doesn't have a mother. Right? And so the only family he has, the only close people, so this is a man who, a boy who grew up without whatever. You are the second last one, and uh, you are trying to tell your brothers that you will be their boss. It doesn't go well. Sure. It doesn't really go well. Right? And I know we have last bonds here. God has a dream of Kukua MCA. Now, MCA comes with a lot of money, I'm told, or I see. Usiringe kwa your elder brothers. It can go south. Sindio? They can sell you as a slave. He really persevered. Then he sold as a slave. In fact, initially they wanted to kill him. But the first one, Reuben, was level headed at that point. He felt, no, let's throw him in the ditch and, you know, something like that. When he sold to slavery, what happens to him is taken to one of the high officers of Pharaoh called Potiphar. And he is doing so well that then I did not this thing and see that too, I saw it in the Bible. That Kumba lady is also run after men. You know, I used to think it was the other way around. No, ladies was it is in the Bible. This was a married woman and marrying a very young lad. In fact, the Bible says, and you know when the Bible says, I have to believe that Joseph was well built and handsome. Those ones are in the Bible. Ah, uh -uh, well. <laughs> I also saw the Bible saying something bad about Leah. That Panini na Nia Kumpenda, that are very attractive. Actually, the amplified version suggests that Leah and Kumutu Kimangalia Machiago in Kependa Kulia. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry I'm not even going to call Leah. Please. And I'm also sorry to the Leah in the Bible. I need to know. But you see, we, we, we must be careful. And every time we come here, we are talking about relationship. One in our Bia, one in our Angalia, Sura. But God told someone the same, that I want you to anoint a king. But the fellow went for the physical. But a man looks at the physical, I look at the heart. 
It is only God who looks at the heart, not me. <laughs> Fine. I think we're going to pursue the location. The point is, the point is, this fellow is thrown in the prison. By the way, in the Middle East, and I think even today, a slave is a person that you lose your identity, you lose your culture, you lose your name, you have no voice. You are like a machine in the house. But when somebody says bring water, you bring. Do this, you do. Are we understanding each other? Yes. So for the Lord to rescue Joseph from being killed for the accusation of attempted rape, it is what the Bible says in several verses in the story we are being told of Joseph that the Lord was with Joseph. And I believe that is the reason why God rescued that guy at that point. He had no name, he had no nothing. He should have just been slaughtered. Now your kid is out again. Why God in his own wisdom allowed him to be put in the prison where the prisoners, when they want to say a fellow, want to work, it's just a divine plan. And so here we we see perseverance of this guy. The second thing I saw is what I told you about preservation. In this character, for interesting reasons and by the power of God, this man was able to save the whole of Egypt. He was able to save the whole world, including his father's household, from the starvation that must have been killing many people who couldn't make it to Egypt to buy food or did not have money to buy food. In fact, the Bible records that even the Egyptians, they they, they bought food from the grains that Joseph had put until they had no money. Do you know what happened next? They even sold their land so they can have food. Do you know what happened? After Shepherd of Meuza, they now sold themselves that they became slaves to Pharaoh. They just became slaves. And the person preserving them is this man called Joseph that in our character we must know that God will work out things that we need to preserve so many people. Amen. You will notice that the people who benefited from Joseph being second in command in Egypt is not Joseph per se. It is his family, it is the family of Pharaoh, it is the Egyptians. You know we normally think that the president is the happiest person. Actually, I thank God I don't have an ambition to be a president. It is the toughest job. I work in government, I can tell you. I saw it in the Obama. When Obama was the US president, and when he became US president, I think he became also the president of the US of the world war. That you can't sleep until Iran nuclear deal. <laughs> then, when the Obama Baghdad that are multiplying themselves, they have Boko Haram in Nigeria and Al Shabaab in East Africa, Horn of Africa. You can't sleep. Then before you are done, there are Republicans who want to impeach you for doing the right thing. <laughs> so being, being a president, especially for the US, in, in, in fact, if you guys noticed, Obama's hair actually became gray. When I see his photos, now he looks black again. The hair, it is not an easy job. So we normally think that when you become president, it's the best job. The best job are the people in Hong Kong. In fact, one of what I do is my mom said to me, I want to go to the house. I will pay DSTV, I have no time to <laughs> Because when I got, I, I will tell you for free. I know you guys are looking forward to buying a big TV, you are going to appear and other nonsense soaps and what have you. The people who will enjoy it are the people who do no contribution in your house. See, we talk about the we can't want to what to be cooked. You know that I was telling my son, and I have a good conversation with that guy. I was telling him, you always give me ideas of how to spend my money. But you never give me how to increase the money. You are always on the idea of how to spend it. So you can be a tafuta idea that is an idea to your guest in this. Not always consuming. So the people who really benefited and did nothing are the Egyptians. They had food. They never interpreted the dream. His, farmer, his father's family benefited so much that they were given the, the most fertile place in Egypt to settle. No wonder they multiplied so much and did Egypt get a lot of money. Since we are becoming less than those guys with the smaller nose. 
the, the, the Egyptians of us, of, uh, I don't know, there are the guys who came up with, if you can smell my coffee, and they love it. It's coffee Arabica, they love it. So they're able to smell with their uh, long amos. <laughs> the best business to do in Egypt is actually a coffee shop. Thank you later. That's a business idea. I'm your guide. So what the guys smell on? So the point I'm putting here is that imagine they multiplied too much at the expense of a guy who really persevered. And I'm saying this because I know, like the Emirates, you're thinking of getting out of here and getting a job or whatever it is for your own benefit. You must look at the larger plan God has in your life of how many people will benefit. Because that is how God works with us. The final point I see in his life that also makes me to be excited about him is palliative. Palliative is a word I saw when we started having these uh, homes. You know, we have homes for people with terminal illness, where we give palliative care. All right? Uh, I don't know whether we are together at that point. Are we getting what is the uh, palliative? Is this person, you will, is, is this way of a person nursing pain? That you nurse a lot of pain until God uses you to show people what it means to be forgiven. We all know the story when the brothers came and they actually bowed to him. Okay, they refused at the point of the dream. They did it in a foreign land called Egypt. That when they saw the prince of Egypt, as they would call him, they bowed down. Because when they were shocked, we have just come to buy food. Why is the prince coming to see us? Because many people are coming to buy food. And the people I previously, in 38 and 9, has already said that what had happened, Joseph had established grain storage throughout Egypt. So there were several selling points of food. But when these guys are coming, the fellow who actually is in charge is coming to see them. I think they, at that point they not noticed who had come. And so they bowed down. And I can tell you, I know some of you, you, you have a challenge for giving your brother a Let me explain first. First, if you grew up where I grew up, it is until you your it, vest is a private cloth, you don't share. Where I grew up, with my younger brothers, we would share vest, nothing more. Maybe shirt, ikiniwacha, wanapewa. I don't know whether you guys grew up in such homes. That, that come up, because, well, I'm a third born in my family, but I think for interesting reason I'm a first born, because beyond me are two ladies. So I normally say I'm also a first born. So as a first born male, I have two brothers behind me, and I can tell you they really got new shirts, because <laughs> I know you guys come from rich homes. That we have what we call as a nguyango. We have made, made it worse, uh, madam. I want to be and I hope you have not done this. We are building very big homes. That we are finding our children as they are a room. Una fat, una, una pata, you have three children, maybe two girls, one boy. So every girl is a nguyake, and they personalize the room. And you think that girl at a talk up or head to car or a bed seat or a manoma at your level in a kwangu. <laughs> the best way is to ensure our children suffer in our homes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not a walker. I am doing that intent to bring your mind back to the familiar story. But I'm doing this to tell you this that it, it, it is true. It, it, it is true. The number of single people in our urban centers are, are, are increasing, and when you ask, it's because I go to work. The, the dad is like, you know, my uncle never cheated. At a computer, they were working. Picture was, they were my boyfriend, got on many hands or whatever they put. I don't know. <laughs> and the point here is that they're so comfortable, they cannot go out. I'm lazy. At the at the, they don't go out. Flat here, they chose to share the one to hinge. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, was a guy. And and it becomes a challenge. And then we. We are in church praying and fasting, oh the Lord will open the eyes of the men, the, the young men who are here, my daughter, Nini Nini, Ukitaka, do my style. I have like a small house. 
So I've ensured my two sons are in a double decker in an endogo one of the other. When my son is 20, I only have to shake. Please always remember you are a student number one. 
you are here because you guys are seated where you are seated. I cannot sit there because you have a registration number. Now, no one will be able to emerald. Yet, this is sell by date. Ngo karibu kutoka hapo penye unakaa. Utakuwa unakuja hapo kama umenyenyekea. School fees. Penye unakaa, I cannot sit. Do you understand what I'm saying? That if you keep a wrong company, yenye itaki kusoma, utakuta huka mtiyani. That is the truth. Tunalawa na hapo. Because companies that we keep are so powerful, and the power in our peer pressure is so powerful we don't notice it. If you stay with the people who are praying, and the Bible says, even when a fool stays with the wise, is counted as? Imagine. Imagine. And some of us will find it evil. You know, we still have people to talk to you. So, when I was in the world, 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 you are going to the wise people to stand. So the point I'm putting across is the company we keep will always mold our character. I will tell you this for free. Even if you are at Emerald, you're finishing college. And the company you're keeping, the company of having boyfriends and girlfriends and, and, and taking studies, the buyer, you know, coming to church here to pass time, let me tell you, is a company that has affected your character. Pray for it. Flee. Flee. Do not waste your time to pray for a bad company. Just left that WhatsApp group. Talk to it. is it is the same with the wrong relationships. And I can tell you the things that affect us even beyond college. Much has to do with the company we kept. Even the way we get jobs faster or slower is the company we keep. Like if you keep a company of people who are already dejected, depressed, discouraged, and other bees that are bad. <laughs> In fact, there's a guy called King David. Before I was a king, he, he was met by some 400 men at a place called Ziklag. I am just a good Bible scholar. I'm not a genius. I will know that story. And those 400 men were in that category. They were, in fact, it is amazing how David encouraged himself in the Lord as God. Surrounded by 400 peer pressure men who are discouraged, they have lost their homes, King Saul has taken captive their cattle, their children, they are actually basically have nothing. Another one. So the company you keep, Tafanari, and this one I really want to overemphasize. Will, it, will it affect common first class in a pattern, Emerald. I know that you can go change. It's a sealed effect. Come on, we can see a pattern. 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 Affected by the company you kept. Those of you here who entered wrong relationships, I can see you in the back of your head. You can see me in the back of your head. You can see me in the back of your head. Isn't it? Those of you, when you want to do a test, ya pombe mkiwa campus, haukuna siku litoka kwa rumi yako peke yako kama wanaume yako wanamuke, it had to do with company. It is that power. And then company leaves you when you die. You will always have people around you, whether you are conscious of it or not. Because we are made by God to be social beings. So the company we keep is very key. The other thing that also affects our connecting, and the company, there's a verse that I like, and, 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 and the Bible starts it very well. In the book of 1 Corinthians 15, 30, I know many of you know it by, by heart, that the Bible starts with the word, do not be deceived. Bad company, corrupt good morals. Yani, Apo Paul akianikia the church in court and kumambia usidanganyike. Because lazima walikuwa natanganyike. That you are busy telling us that uyo nuku wa nakuhu wa pombe, lakini vile ni na muombea, atawache uyo pombe. Let me tell you my sister, you are caught in disaster, and after you are married four years down the line, utakuja kwe tukiwa na nini, utaka cancel it. Na mdua watu wa kichafu mkadishu wa ndoa. 
<laughs> it was for the very first time when I stayed in that town, the town I'm really one of them. That <laughs> so I am very careful I was saying, you know, I must respect the elders. Yeah. Do you know what she means? Maybe someone at every girl, you are going to be my not king, I get a casama for what you saw, I had the two years, two other matter could do one. I hear the hook on that video. He never touched him. So, so mom, I'm saying this with a lot of uh, whatever. It is in Luyaland where I saw that a town has more churches than bars. For the ah. very first time in my life. In fact, when I would uh, find that where I was going, because I was going to church in Kisumu, and I was staying in Bali at Vihiga, when I was in Kisumu in Bali, I was point for choices where to go to church. Compared with other towns, when I ended up in Dum Dum. While I was there, there's a young man I met, and I don't want to say his name, but if I describe, I know him to That guy was a worship leader in the church I went in Kisumu, Sitam Kisumu. You wouldn't believe it is the same guy. I'm really sorry to say this, and I know if you are his fan, you're likely to tell him, and I'm likely to be arrested for defamation. But the truth is, this is the same guy who was arrested last week for that wife material thing. Ah? That guy was a worship leader when I was working in Western Kenya. He is a and he has a nice voice. Goodness. Gifting yake a baritone, a lead worship. Oh, it was, and and I'm, I'm not defaming him. You, you understand my point? <coughs> that if you don't have that character, that you don't have that you don't have that you don't have that you don't Right? I'm even told there's a secular and I'm a fan of people that you don't have to be young. And you are headed to death. I'm still praying for him. Every time I see him there doing the nonsense, I still, in fact the other day, and he drives a very nice Mercedes by the way. And you know, I'm confessing, so why are you I give up, but you can hear me. The other day we met with him for traffic. And you guys know the car I drive, it is outside here. See Gary Yata Belia what to other can go to go to Nagai on a bata kill a move at Samia, in a point of December. Don't allow God to be the one who helps us. 